Here we go. All right. How's it going, everyone? This is Jose Trujillo. Welcome to the studio once again. And uh, I'm going to share with you guys a landscape painting I'm about to do. Okay. This is a 10 by 10 inches canvas, stretch canvas. And I'm just gonna do a little demo here, like I've done before, of some awesomeness. Awesomeness! <laughs> so here we go, okay? Now, I've been getting, getting into the habit of drawing, kind of outlining or whatever, with this. Uh, the reason why I said don't get caught up in stuff in other videos, it's for that exact same reason. Um, <laughs> that exact same reason. I haven't said the exact same reason yet. Huh? It's because I'll um, I'll pick up a habit like this. I, I think these are good habits to pick up. I'll pick up a good habit like this, and somewhere along the way, I'll let it go. And then, so so see, when I used to paint before, people. Uh, some some years ago, people used to tell me, people that knew me, they used to tell me, oh man, I wish I could uh, uh, learn this technique that you're using, you know, and vice versa, I used to love some techniques that other artists were using. And I, I, I kind of realized that I would pick them up and then just drop them, you know, and because I was looking for identity, right? For my identity. So I was like, oh man, am I gonna be the artist that does the, the little lines over and over and over? Or the little C's, you know? Those of you who, who've been in the game uh, <laughs> of finding your identity as an artist, you, you, you may resonate with that. So, so I was into that, right? Trying to find my voice. And I would notice that, that uh, that in trying to do that, I picked up a lot of different strategies and not strategies, but techniques and habits and little, you know, little things. Some people call them tricks, trickery. It's not trickery. It's, it's <laughs> people, people that don't, that don't, that don't paint call it that. They call it trickery. But it's little things that you do, you know, little, little, little things you start picking up from how to... Um, whether you come from, you know, you you start with a with a foreground or a background, little things like that. And there's different there's different um, attitudes towards it. It doesn't matter. Or if you do a uh, colorist work or more traditional or blah 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 all that kind of stuff. Anyways, I don't want to confuse you with all that craziness. What I'm trying to say is that I I the reason why I say don't get caught up in all of that is because I realize that that. At least for me, right? Because I pick up painting on my own. So at least for me, I, I realized, um, look, you're going to pick up and drop stuff as you go. And when I realized that, it was a lot more sincere to paint. Painting became a bit more sincere. Like, oh, okay, I get it. It's, you know, it's, you're learning, you're expanding, you're, you're growing. And many times we pick something up we think we're gonna stay there. And it is my, my belief that if you pick something up and you want to plant yourself there, um, nine out of 10, it's, uh, you, you, you may be afraid of change. Nine out of 10, this is what happens, you know, this is what happened to me anyways. I don't know if for other people, but, but uh, I definitely developed a fear for change because I was so enamored with the idea of having a personal voice that everything that I picked up, it was like, <laughs> it's like this person, no, there's, there's a lot of uh, stuff around this, but it's like the, 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 the boy or girl, I don't know, it doesn't matter, the, 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 the gender, uh, that, that meet someone when they're when they're young, younger in their life, and they say, "This is the you know." They start dating, and they're like, "This is the person I'm marrying." You know, <laughs> it's a little like that with 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 style in artwork. It's a lot like that actually. <laughs> so you pick something up, and you're like, "Oh man, this is this is it. 
I will become the painter of light. <laughs> I found my true voice. Or you, you know, or you, and it works for some people. I've seen some people that they start paying, you know, and we all hate them for that. <laughs> I'm just joking. But we, we do meet people that, that uh, or we see people that, that uh, only been at, at it for, you know, for some time. And all of a sudden they just, they find that thing, you know, that, 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 uh, that painting style or that, you know, that, that brush stroke or that thing, you know, that makes them so unique. And we're like, what? <laughs> but it doesn't happen to everyone. And it is my belief that those who find it are more, uh, um, they're more, I think, I don't know if, it, if it's in every case, but I think they're not looking for it. They're more meek about it, you know? They're kind of, oh, okay, this works, and they just kind of keep going, you know? And, and you know, that just, it, it speaks loud to them, and they just kind of keep going. For me, no, I, I, I'm a sinner. I had to go through, through many. <laughs> I had to go through many styles. I still do. Uh, I don't know if I have a, if I am a, a, a candidate for, for a, How do you call it? How, what, do you, what do you call that? Um, when a, a group grants you pardon, or <laughs> but I I, uh, I go through a lot of styles. I I go through a lot of brush work, different brush style, different brush stroke, different different tools. Just because it's not because I can't find myself. It's because it's all so good. <laughs> it's all so good. You know, it's all it's it's it's, it's like you're in a playground. Why would you stick to one? And it took me, it took me a little while to get that, you know? It wasn't, it wasn't, uh, I've always been fascinated and I want to say I've always been good at picking up a tool and making it mine. Uh, whether it's the palette knife or the brush or, or playing with a particular style, you know? Um, particular brush stroke too, but I fought it. I fought it for the longest time. I told myself, no, you can't do that. You gotta be, um, you gotta have one singular style. But I was really fighting my nature. I'm a beast. <laughs> I'm a beast. <laughs> I really was just fighting my nature, you guys. I confess. I wanted to play with all of it. And once I started realizing that. Now that's what I, that's what I, I mean, you know, with don't um don't overthink it, don't get stuck in 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 one place or another. This is the stuff that I'm talking about. This is I talk about this because I'm talking about uh, my approach to painting. I can't. I can't talk to you about another approach to painting. I don't know another approach to painting. I can't talk to you about. Uh, you know. I mean, this this video blogs are are really um, sort of like a diary. You know. That's why I talk a lot. I think <laughs> I get to process things too. I don't just get to. You guys. You guys maybe think that I'm like acting like a like a teacher here, but I'm really not. <laughs> I'm really processing myself too. I'm processing things. I'm, I'm uh, talking about experiences that I'm still maybe uh, dealing with or challenges I still, you know, I'm still fighting the fight, you guys. Um, so yeah, that's that. I know some people get upset, and I've gotten some people getting upset, I'm like, man, you know, how come you don't do this, how come you don't do that, because I, I don't, I'm sorry, <laughs> I'm not sorry, but I, I'm just playing, I don't, I, I can't, I can't show you something I don't know, you know, I'm showing you my approach, and if it, 
And if you could pick something up from it or learn something, or if you just like seeing uh, art created, this is the place for you. If you don't, uh, then it's not for you. It's okay. You know, it's, it's all right. Just a matter of um, it's a strange dance. I don't get tired of saying it because right? I don't get tired of talking. <laughs> but it's a strange dance. It's 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 a dance between being um, being here in. Fully in, but not fully caring. It's you. You are caring. You're just not so invested. Where caring becomes a pain. That's what painting is to me. And every time I paint, I, I talk about this. I one way or another, I try to point at it because it's it can't be. It really can't be said, because all, all good things are, are, are experience, experiential. If it's said, it's not it. It's trying to explain the unexplainable. And I'm not talking about uh, me being special or you being special for you know, knowing something. It's not about knowing. It's it's. It's a strange dance. Painting, I think any art form, it's a strange dance. You're here, you, you, you care, but you don't. Or at least it looks like you don't. You do care, you care a lot. But it doesn't consume you. If it starts consuming you, then you're no longer painting. Now you're trying to control. The moment you try to control, the mind has, has slipped in. And I'm sorry for those of you who disagree, but this is just the way I see things. The moment your mind comes in and starts um, bothering you and going, Oh man, oh, don't, don't get upset. You're just not painting anymore. You shouldn't get upset. It's okay. And if you do, it's fine. You get upset. But I'm telling you from personal experience, if things are not going your way, um, when it comes to painting, I don't know about other things, <laughs> you are no longer painting. Well, you don't have to be happy. I don't believe in that. I'm like, oh, my God, you know, you, if you're happy, then you're painting. Then you, you know when you realize you're painting when you're happy. That's 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 bullshit. I don't I don't I don't believe that. I'm not always happy, but you know what I am? I am enthusiastic about it. I have this enthusiasm, like a little child. That that I can recognize. There's an enthusiasm that comes in painting, and. That enthusiasm, it's, it's, it's a play. It's hard to explain because, again, it's not, you know, you will discover it in you. That's why I say there's, there's no right or wrong way of painting. There's no, the valleys are rough, man. <laughs> or the, the, the tones, the tones, man. There's none of that. That's just someone's, per, you know, perception of realism. If you do it enough, I don't care if you have school or you don't when you do this. If you do it enough, you will start. You will start learning how to absorb. Of course, it helps if you get school. It helps if you get a teacher. It it, it speaks the process in a way. It might, I don't know. Um, but if you do it enough. Whether it's painting, observing, you will learn how to observe.
as I mentioned before, painting is observing, is the practice of observing. You learn how to see. When you paint, you learn how to see. You learn how to see without judgment. That's really what I want to get to. I was, I was aching to say that. <laughs> So there you go, I said it. Maybe I said it before too, I don't know. Painting is the practice of seeing and doing, of course you're doing, right? You're moving, you're doing, without any judgment. Of course you're measuring, you're, you're same distance but that's that's all practice you've created a channel for that you prepare the ground for that your practice prepares the ground but once you're in it once you start painting you get in the zone and in the zone there is no right or wrong there is no good or bad that is why I feel for people who said that they've been painting for so many years and they still talk as if they've never been to heaven. I don't understand. In the zone, when you're painting, there is no judgment. There is no good, there is no bad. You just do. And at the end, when you finish doing, you accept, fully accept what you did. You don't go and you say, oh man, I missed this spot. Oh man, I missed that. Of course, there's different ways of painting. I'm talking about the way I'm doing it. But essentially, it's the same. Whether you, whether you go and fix, you go and fix. You don't, you're not really going and fixing. You go back to it with the same openness. As the first time, so you don't. You, those of you who retouch paintings, there's nothing bad. It's not. It's not even that you're fixing. It's that you the, the the vision might not be finished, and you have to get back to it. And you know, those who do wet on wet on dry or different techniques, um, if you go back to it, I'm not saying oh you're not painting because you went back to it. Of course not. But you go back to it in the same spirit. As the first time. Just like I, I switch over from a brush to a palette knife with the same spirit. It's not to do something better. Oh I did the brush, now let me see, let me use the, the palette knife so that it, so that now it's better. No, it's 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 different. I use the I use the palette knife to evoke something different, not something better. Because there is no, you gotta learn this. I have, I have, I have, um, I'm not talking about you gotta learn how to paint, I mean, you gotta learn how to paint. Um, this idea, I have posters in my studio. If that helps you, put them, put them in your studio. There is no right or wrong, there is no good or bad picture or painting, there is only painting. The faster you learn this, The more you, the more access you will have to the zone. Because in the zone, it is all accepted. That's the beauty of the zone. You become a master. Regardless of what people tell you. You know you are. Because you've come to, to realize the non-judgment of creation. I went deep again, you guys. <laughs> this is Jose Trujillo. I am the world's greatest living artist. And you just witnessed another one of my paintings. How awesome is that? Here, let me, let me, turn, turn, turn. There you go. Bam. Why not, huh? Keep it fun, keep painting.
And remember, don't judge it. Leave it alone. If you did it, you did great. Take care till next time. Bye-bye.